Before I get to today's topic, the forward roll, I want to fix a few things from the previous video. I'm going to get rid of the AI, bring the player down all the way down here. And if I do a running jump, you'll see that the box collider doesn't quite match the animation. Just got to change a few numbers for the update box collider ability. First, I'm going to look for the running jump. Okay, so here's the running jump. And the problem is the update box collider. I'm going to make this the same as the running jump fall. Okay, it's just a fall box collider. I'm going to make it the same. So 0 0.83 here, 1.3. That's the difference. Okay, it's the same now. Meaning we're going to have a smaller box collider when we first do the running jump. Okay. I think I should also increase the jump force for the running jump. Maybe 350. Okay. And now for the forward roll. I want the player to hold the diving posture until he hits the ground. Because right now, you go straight into the roll. So it looks like you're hanging in midair for a split second and then falling. I'm going to separate the roll and the dive. So let's go into the animator. Look for the roll. running transitions, forward roll, which uses index number three. I'm going to duplicate this, copy paste, call it forward roll start. And this would be forward roll end. Delete the one that goes into the end. So this is from running to the forward roll. Delete that. So a new transition from running to forward roll start. Here it is. And it's going to use the index number three. Okay, and I also want to duplicate the animation. Control D, rename it, forward roll start. Also rename it here. And I want this to go to the point right before the fall, something like 69. Okay, if I play, I think I forgot to switch the animation here. Okay. So 
So that's the for roll start. I'm going to rename the other one for roll end. Make sure you also rename it in the animation tab. And for the end, we start at 70. The rolling part. And I'm going to create an indexer, a transition. Rather, not an indexer. Okay, and the condition is that grounded is true for the end. Uh, I guess we'll keep the ground detector for the end. For the move forward, I'm going to create another move forward. I think I can duplicate this. So this is the move forward for the end. We also have one for the start. I'm going to adjust the graph for the end. Something like this. The end doesn't need the jump, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And for the start, let me edit the move forward just slightly. And I also want to create a separate ground detector just for the roll. Ground detector. Player forward roll ground detector. And I want the ground detector to start a little earlier, so maybe 0 0.2. And put it into the ability. Replace the general ground detector. I'm going to try clicking play. Okay. Looks like it's working fine from the top, but the flat part looks kind of weird. I think I need more jump force. 130 and play again. So the dive works pretty well. Okay, I might, I might even need a little more force. Okay. And maybe a smoother transition. Like more jump. Okay. Looks all right. Okay. And I'll add the random AIs again. Wipe out blue. I'll put this one on top.
Okay. I might do a camera zoom in when you're doing the slide or the roll for certain running transitions. I think a zoom in might look nice. But I'll do that more in the later videos. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.